Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy calculate columns into other column types using Power Automate. If you enjoy Teams, SharePoint, Power Automate, and Power videos, feel free to subscribe because we plan on more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So I am working with my marketing SharePoint list holiday schedule. And I want to copy this data over to the holiday schedule too. And to do this, I just created a new list. It has all the same columns I just went in from existing list, marketing, holiday schedule, and I just copied it over. This will create a new list with none of the data filled in. And one of my viewers was having an issue where they wanted to copy a calculated row. So my calculated rows in this data table are the month after holiday, the amount spent, holiday and date. They want to copy these calculated columns into different column types. So single line of text and a number field, and they weren't showing up in the dynamic content. So down here, they weren't showing up. I'm just going to show how you can get them to show up. So let's go into my power automate. And I guess I will show you the calculate columns as well. So the month after holiday is just the holiday date plus 30. That will give you 30 days or uh, past the holiday date. The budget is just a number. The amount spent is just budget times 0.74. Just to give me a number there. And that's actually a number uh, field. And the holiday and date is a single line of text. I have the title, a space, and then the holiday date. And the holiday date gets returned as a serial number. So that's what it will look like in my uh, single line of text field. So I did this flow before. It is manually trigger a flow. So it is a instant cloud flow. Copy SharePoint list data. So it is an instant cloud flow. I have been get items. So I'm getting all the items from my holiday schedule list, which is this. I have around 10 items and no filters on it. And I'm just going to pretty much just copy that whole list, uh, every value. So every row in this list is going to get copied to the holiday schedule too. But in this, I'm going to actually copy some of this data to these extra fields I made. So this is a single line of text column, and this is a number column. I'm going to copy this, these calculate values into those column types. So for the budget, it's just going to be budget, uh, holiday date going to be how they date and as you can see the calculate rows aren't showing up in here because you can't copy data into calculate rows they're calculated on the other data so this is a single line of text let's say i wanted to get the the month after holiday date and it looks like it's showing up right here so you're able to copy a uh, date value to a single line of text so let's look and see if we can get the amount spent. So if I look here at the amount spent here as well, holiday and date also here. So if it's a single line of text column, you can actually just copy those over. doesn't really matter the column type beforehand. But if it's a single line of text, you only get to do 255 characters in that field. So just a reminder. So let's copy the holiday and date into that field. And so, this is a number column. So this column here is a number. And let's say I want to copy over the amount spent. So this amount spent is a calculated column. It's just taking the budget and it's a number here. But if you look in the get items, it does not appear to be showing here, which is strange, right? But it's actually just trying, it's just giving you like a preview of what, you know, Power Automate can put into those rows. It's not actually showing you all the information. So let's say I want to get the amount spent. So if you just type in the amount spent, you can actually get more columns than what is shown. And I believe that is what the user that reached out into my, my comments was looking for. He was staying... You know, I want to copy a calculated row into a different column type. 
and it wasn't showing up the dynamic content. So if you search for the specific column, you're able to do that. So the amount spent, just be careful because if you try to do like a, a text field into a number column, it's obviously not gonna work because it's not a number. So let's just go ahead and copy this over and just see if it works. And as you can see, we were able to get the amount spent column uh, copied over to this number column that is a uh, number column. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is how you copy a calculated row, I mean a calculated column over to a new column type. Uh, this is useful in like power apps because it's very difficult doing, I believe it's very difficult working with calculate columns. So you want to take your calculate column data, put it into a single line of text, and then use it like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will catch you in the next video.